I've been trying to record this vision uh, several times at this point, and uh, I'm here. Here we go. I'm going to try it again. Uh, I saw this vision on November 6th of 2020, and it was a, a very clear and vivid vision from the Lord, um, one of the, the clearest that I've seen, and also one of the most striking. I've kept it to myself before some time um, because it um, has pretty s- significant um, connotations, ramifications. Uh, in this vision, I, I saw a, a beautiful, like heavenly looking place. It was a place high above the earth in the clouds. And it was this, uh, uh, it was a, a beautiful kind of scene high, high, high in the air, surrounded by puffy white clouds, kind of a glorious looking spot. Um, in this area, there was a, a figure uh, who was larger than a, a typical man, much larger, um, I think representing uh, some kind of a spiritual entity. And uh, this figure, uh, th- it was in the figure of a, of a, of a skeletal man, a, 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 a skeleton of some kind. Um, and this uh, clearly an evil figure. And it, this figure, uh, as I was watching, took up a, a, a white cloak. And it was a brilliant white. And the, the, the figure, the skeleton figure, took the cloak to wrap himself in it. And as this figure wrapped himself in this brilliant white cloak, I could see embroidered on it in uh, golden letters, uh, the word pro-life. And uh, as the figure wrapped himself in this white cloak, the, the light uh, began to shine from it. It was such brilliance that I could no longer see the skeletal figure beneath the cloak, but just a, a bright uh, light that shone forth from the figure and from the clouds this, in, this, in this kind of heavenly looking place. And um, it was a very shocking vision to me. Um, I was hard for me to receive um, because I in no way believe that um, the loss of innocent life or the taking of innocent life is good in any way. Um, but I do believe this was a, a revealing of certain ideologies and movements of man that are used uh, many times to justify actions, manipulations, um, ways of doing things uh, in which uh, the end is used to justify the means. And the means are often, uh, things are often done in such a way to adhere to certain of man's movements and to call them God, to call them God's, this is, this is who God is because of, you know, uh, this kind of logical progression of assumptions. And I believe that it is uh, pretty clear what it means in many ways. Um, but I also know that because of the intense emotional response of, of many American believers, of many of those who would, who would stand on the side of God or, or say they would, I, I believe that, that, that it, this would be rejected by, by many because uh, it goes against who they think God is and, and, and how he works. Um, and it, it, i at the time of the vision, it was very clear to me that, that, um, there are many people who, who, who are, who, who call on the Lord God as their God, but have assigned many, um, ways of man as though they are God's ways. And, and, and I, it's a dangerous place, and um, on November 9th, I, uh, the Lord revealed to me also very clearly that this figure in the clouds was kind of a counterpart or a, a partner or a dual uh, personality along with um, another figure that one of our brothers had in a dream, I believe it was. This was a, a female um, figure who sat on a throne in a... Uh, what was kind of representative of a of a church or a a, a, a governmental building? It, it, it's a very deep and uh, powerful uh, dream that I would recommend looking up or or finding um, in some way or another. Um, but I believe that these two figures together um, have really uh, taken captive the minds and the the hearts of um, specifically American uh, believers to to do. Um, things and to exert their own um, ideologies and movements 
uh, in a way that is not God's way. That, that, that it would it would often be a reason to justify uh, support of uh, of evil things and evil processes and 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 unrighteous ways of going about things that are that are not from God. And um, again, I know that it, it would it's an, there's an emotional response connected to these things. And I would encourage anybody who has that kind of emotional response and and would want to reject this type of thing to really seek the Lord on it because I, I think it is a it is vital in our time because um, many of the things that we hold closest to uh, what we think of as being God that are not God um, would 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 no longer be tolerated by the Lord and would would even disqualify uh, many of His people from taking part in in what He's doing because they have assigned uh, man's ways as being God's. And I think this is a a really deep, uh, fundamental issue um, among many. And again, would would give uh, an easy way to justify um, unrighteous, ungodly ways of doing things. And uh, this is the part of the last few recordings that I started to ramble too much. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there. Um, but I, I do pray that God reveals uh, the truth to his people and that uh, we all uh, do not assign uh, the ways of men to the ways of God. And, and we live in a, in a shifting of the, of the season and the time so that certain things that were allowed in the past will no longer be allowed um, moving forward. Not, not, not uh, among those that have been called by God to do to do His work.